Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compare actual versus budget sales across product categories, months and even by date. Here we have a challenge where we are given budget sales by product categories with monthly seasonality in terms of percentages. We need to allocate the budget sales into months and dates to make comparison between actual and budget sales. Let's get started and build it together. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so to stay up to date with Power BI, Power Query and Excel videos from Excel Fort. Let's have a look at the data model first. I've got a sample data set for Contoso here. Product categories, product subcategory, product and I have a sales table and date table is connected to that. Let's have a look at the sales table. I have the product key, customer key, order date, total sales and the order number. I have created two measures. The first one is the total sales. It simply sums the sales from the sales table. And the last date where I take the last available date from the sales order date, which is the latest sales date by removing filter from uh, all other tables. On my report, I've got total sales by category, then by month over here. And I have a slicer for the date. Uh, and this is the last date we have transaction for. Now let's have a look at the budget layout that we have received. So the budget has been given by product category and been allocated into months based on seasonality. As you can see, the seasonality percentages for 12 months been given and the total comes to 100% for each category. So our challenge is to allocate this total budget amounts into months based on these percentages. I'm in Power Query. Let me go and get the budget file. It's in Excel format. So I'm going to go and select Excel workbook, select the budget file. I have data stored as a table so I can click on sales budget 2021 click OK. First step is to get rid of the total column at the end. Remove column. I need to transform this into columns. So basically I'm going to have three columns product category, date and the budget sales. For that let me click on product category budget sales. I can right click and unpivot other columns. Now I have my sales for example for audio category it's repeating for 12 months. Then I have the allocation percentage based on seasonality in value column. I can add another column by multiplying budget sales and the value. Under standard multiply I can rename the new column within the formula itself to sales. Now that I have the sales split into months, I can get rid of the other columns. Basically, I need the product category, the date and the sales. I can right click and remove other columns. I can rename this to date and change the type to date. And this is my sales. I can load this to the data model now. To compare against the actual sales, I need to build uh, the measures for total target sales. Let me go and create a measure. And call it budget sales. The sum of budget sales now I can drag and drop this budget sale onto this matrix it's showing the same number because I haven't created the relationship yet so let me go back to my model bring my budget sales over here first step is to connect the date date to sales budget 2021 and from the product category we can link the product category both are one to many relationships let me go back 
so I'm getting the budget sales and the actual sales for the whole year if I bring the budget sales to the chart over here I don't need the data labels let me turn it off I've got actual sales and the budget sales here let me also create a measure to compare actual versus budget actual versus budget it will be total sales minus budget sales I need a percentage achievement I can click and create a new measure for that it's called actual versus budget percentage divide actual versus budget by budget sales let me add it to my matrix I can also add the actual versus budget percentage to my trend chart so we need to stop showing percentages when there is no actual sales let's go and modify the actual versus target so we'll give a condition I'll create a variable that says total sales so if total sales is greater than zero then I'll show total sales minus budget so now we are looking at percentages only up to the month where we have total sales now you are looking at 35 percent uh, which is actually comparing the whole month budget versus uh, 15 days of sales so which is not correct the requirement here is to show the comparison only up to 15th of may let's go and change the date to 15th may in the date slicer still i'm getting the full month target sales full month budget sales for may in this case we won't be able to handle this unless we go and change the granularity of the budget currently it's at month level so we need to break it into day level let's go and do that in our power query transformation now I'm in power query currently we have our budget sales by monthly so we need to split into date so first let me go and add a column that will show the number of days in each month for that I can click on date and month days in month I'm going to use this to divide uh, the total sales total sales and select days in month under add column standard let's divide so we get the daily sales over here now I can get rid of the sales and days in month I have deleted it now I have the daily sales and the month I need to add another column let's create on custom column here I'm going to create a list of number of days in each month as dates for that I need to create a list I can use int64 from which will basically extract the number portion from the date And this should go up to the end of the month so to get the end of the month I can say date end of month and I can select the date again this has to be wrapped around int get from so that I can extract the number portion of it and I close the curly bracket 
now I have got 31 days for January this is in number format I need to change the type to date so now I can expand this into rows I'll go and change the data type to date so I can get rid of the date column and uh, let's rename this as sales and this will be the date drag and drop it in the middle so I have product category date and the sales now the sales has been split into dates let me close and apply now you see 33 percent which is basically uh, the budget sales up to 15th of May and the actual sales on the same date so this way you'll be able to compare the actual versus budget on any given date as well right the other challenge we are trying to solve here is currently I have set the date to 15 May where we have our actual sales but if the user wants to extend the date range to till the end of the year and wants to see the budgeted sales only up to the date where we have actual data I mean 15 May then we need to modify the budgeted sales right but if the user wants to change the date to below 15 May we still want to respect his selection let's go and modify the measure to show the budgeted sales only up to 15 May regardless of the slicer selection on the date for that let me get into the budgeted sales measure currently I'm just calculating the sales from the sales budget 2021 table let me first create a variable to store the date in this variable I'm going to get uh, the last sales date and the maximum date from the calendar table whichever is minimum here so in this case I'll use min of last sales date or the maximum date from the dates table so whichever is the minimum that will be assigned to the date variable next we will create another variable to calculate the budget sales I'm going to calculate the total sales from the budget table I'm going to apply the filter on the dates where date is less than or equal to the date variable so this will clear the filter on the dates table and filter it to all the dates that are less than or equal to the date that is selected the minimum date of whether it's a last date from the sales or the maximum date that is selected from the calendar table let's return this variable and see what we get okay now looking at this table the matrix over here we are getting the correct amount 13.8% uh, this is only up to May 15 but our date range extends up to 31st December right 392 million but uh, look at the chart over here the column chart where uh, the percentage is getting accumulated so we need to solve this we need to respect the filter that is placed on the x-axis over here for that we can apply keep filter on the date so and I'm, I'm going to keep the filter that is coming from the x-axis in this case keep filter Yes, now we are looking at the correct percentages for each month so if you change the month so I'm still getting the correct results if you go below the last sales date it's calculating correctly wants to see the other months in the year like June July up to December to see the budgeted sales as well right so to show that I can go and further do modification on the budget sales so let's uh, 
apply a condition if last sales date is within the current visible dates of the dates table then I will calculate this budget sales otherwise I am going to return the total sales as it is I don't want to do any modification to the calculation there so what this basically does is it will check if the last date falls within uh, the currently selected date range in the filter context then it will do the calculation based on uh, this logic over here under budget sales otherwise it returns the full sales let me confirm this measure now I, you are looking at the full year sales by month still the percentages are correct right even in the matrix now if you change it to any other month it will only show those months this way users will be able to look at the actual versus target on a daily basis without having to change on the date slicer at the same time the whole year budget sales is also visible on the chart in addition to that they can go and modify the seasonality percentages in the excel file and that will get updated as per your refresh schedule so i would like to conclude this video hope you were able to learn something new see you in my next video thank you very much